few senatorial candidates reacted to the COMELEC's list of hopeful or list of hopefuls rather who have released illegal posters. The horror list was released by Commissioner Rowena Guanzon on Twitter. Other senatorials also pointed out that the poll body failed to include candidates who have been openly violating campaign guidelines on the list. Here's the report. On her Twitter account, Comalic Commissioner Rowena Guanzon identified 40 senatorial candidates who have violated rules on campaign materials. Guanzon tweeted the list on Friday, the same day that Comalic spokesperson James Jimenez warned airing candidates that they may face charges for these violations. Comalic's list of supposed violators include Freddy Aguilar, Ibrahim Albani, Gary Alejano, Richard Alfajora, Rafi Alunan, and Sonny Angara as well as Bama Kino, Ernesto Arellano, Marcelino Arias, Bernard Austria, Nancy Binay, Edmund Casino, Pia Cayetano, and Glenn Chong. Same goes for Neri Colmenares, Chel Jocno, J.B. Ejercito, Jingoy Estrada, Larry Gadon, and Conrado Generoso. Other senatoriables with alleged illegal posters are Florine Hilbay, Leborio Hangao, Rodolfo Javeliana, Lito Lapid, Romy Makalintal, Emily Malilin, Faisal Mangondato, and Zajid Mangudadatu. It also included Sonny Matula, Luther Meniano, Alan Montano, Willie Ong, Sergio Smeña, Coco Pimentel, as well as Grace Poe, Danilo Roleda, Lorenzo Tanyada, Francis Tolentino, Antonio Valdez, and Cynthia Villar. Senator Coco Pimentel was surprised to see his name on the list when his posters are still being printed out. Pimentel's camp is asking the poll body where it has seen these posters. Meanwhile, re-electionist Senator Sonny Angara said it's possible that political rivals are behind the posting of their campaign materials outside designated areas to give them a bad rep. Senator J.V. Ejercito, on the other hand, urged his supporters to take down his posters that violate COMELEC guidelines. Marami kumukuha kasi ng material sa amin. Siyempre, they're not probably, they're not uh, aware. But our staff are aware. No? So, halos lahat naman may violation. Eh. So... Probably, siguro sa simula, then we will, then slowly, people will now know the rules. Senator Nancy Binay also questioned her inclusion in Comelec's list of violators. She said the Comelec should have also looked at candidates whose faces have been posted everywhere in the country. Neri Colmenares' camp, meanwhile, is already investigating who among their ranks failed to follow Comelec rules. But Colmenares' campaign manager, Teddy Casino, is urging the agency to look at billboards and tarpaulins of candidates backed by the Duterte administration who Casino claims are openly violating guidelines. Comelec spokesperson James Jimenez clarified that Wanzon's list only identified candidates that have been sent notices in Metro Manila. Ang nakalagay sa listahan ay yung may mga mailing address sa NCR. That list never pretended to be comprehensive. It never. It was never presented as comprehensive. Malino na malino na nakalagay dun sa listahan mismo na ito ay mga may address sa NCR lamang. Jimenez also assured the public that it won't let airing candidates get away. Dapat sana natin, to take, we should have taken into consideration yung, yung konteksto nung, nung effort ng COMELEC sa kabuuan. Marami po tayong sinisita. Lahat sinisita natin. At uh, yung mga sinasabi nilang bakit wala sa listahan, Eh, nasita na po yun paulit-ulit. No? So, uh, kailangan lamang dumaan tayo sa tamang proseso. Comelec is now teaming up with regional offices to look into supposed campaign violations all over the country.